My girlfriend asked me the other day, what's the name of the band you're going to interview? I said, Au revoir, Simone. And she said, well, what, what kind of name is that? And I said, I have no idea. And then I, I realized I should have known it because it's a joke that I should have gotten. Tell me about the joke. I'm assuming you've seen Phoebe's Big Adventure. I, I have, and I was embarrassed that I didn't remember it. <laughs> it's, it's a line from that movie, and um, I, I guess it's, it's a joke. Because it's a line from that movie is what makes it a joke, because it sort of sounds romantic and pretty, and I don't know. American sent to sort of, I don't, not in the wrong way, but fetishized like French stuff and French culture. And so we sort of took that as this dreamy, beautiful Frenchish name and actually. It's this um, kitchen ha -ha. American <laughs> reference from the 80s. Au revoir, Pee Au revoir, Simone! Organizing principle behind the band was we just want to get a bunch of women together with keyboards, nothing mm -hmm. else. Yeah. Where'd that idea come from? Um, I don't Who doesn't I, like keyboards? I've always sort of been into doing things that are different and other people don't do. So it just seemed like this kind of fun um, excuse for a band, like a fun club, keyboard club and something that would be different. So you started as a keyboard club, did you have a sense that it was going to actually grow up into a no, real life? No, not really. Never. It was very much like at my house, we would, I had a few like little Casios and Yamahas and pretty small keyboards and um, yeah, it was, old it was very machine. much a hobby and and the sort of the, yeah, the, in the beginning it was one drum machine that I had been gifted from a movie set that I was working on. And but the problem was that we we had gotten so many keyboard parts and we were so excited about the band that nobody could press the drum machine button. And so we're like, what are we gonna do? We need a drummer. <laughs> And Heather showed up and <laughs> saved the day. I always wanted to she be a drummer. And I really loved the idea of a keyboard band because that's the only instrument that I kind of badly played was the keyboard because like Annie and Erica, um, I had had a keyboard since I was a kid and used to play around with it. But yeah, I saw this great vintage drum machine. I'd never even played with drum machines before, but it started off just, you know, pressing play and then it turned into an obsession of buying vintage mm -hmm. drum machines and then buying, you know, samplers and now I use a Roland SPDS and I basically put a lot of the vintage because you can't take vintage drum machines on tour. We tried and it was really frustrating because the all the knobs break, night, nothing's like reliable, that. there's, you know, they're, they're terrible. So, um, so now I just sample it into my drum machine and just hit it all. So you're actively hit. playing it live? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm hitting pads and all of the pads have different loops. And then um, and Annie and I are getting her crash symbol for a belated <laughs> birthday present, so she's yeah. going to have another something. A real life symbol. A real yeah. symbol. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're moving up the moral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so three women, everybody singing, everybody playing mm -hmm. keyboards simultaneously. I think there was a moment when keyboards were like, oh my god, I can't believe like this exists in the world for musicians and we're beyond that era. Like most people, a lot of people are making music on computers and we don't do that. We don't really, I don't know, we just enjoy playing everything live and, and I think in the beginning there was also a sense of this like um, using these instruments that from the past that had been forgotten and kind of like giving them a new life. Things from garage sales. Right. People's basement. It's a funny thing. How do you describe your sound? I sometimes say dreamy electronic pop. But just because I don't really know what else to say. Is that the way it's described by record reviewers too? Um, I think that yeah, it, because we tell them to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. 
you know, we're much more have a natural folk element to it, so it's more like, I, I don't know, it's not cold, it's, it's, it's supposed to be just our, our instrument, mm -hmm. basically yeah. sort of the indie rock genre, but played on keyboard. Mm -hmm. As organic as you can get with the instrumentation that mm -hmm. you use. Which actually is an interesting concept because you're using mechanical right, instruments yeah. and trying to make it sound as warm as possible. Yes. We try. We try. What would you say you're going for? Mm. And is, it, is, is that changing over time? Because I know you're now doing your third album. Yeah. No matter whatever we're going for, as soon as we get in the studio, it kind of always just becomes something else so sometimes. Because it just seems like... It's fun to talk about. Yeah. Yeah, bizarre. I don't even know if we are going for anything. And it, I mean, I know I've been a lot of fans say that, but it's just like, we get these ideas in our head and they sort of pop up out of nowhere and then we play them and then that's how it is. It's not like, we're not the band where we're like, okay, we're gonna revive the Fleetwood Mac sound but add like a hint of bad brains. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like, here we are, let's have right. some tea and I thought of this song yesterday. Uh -huh.